Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wire Gaming back again with some more Survive the Nights. And today we're going back to the STN Basics. It's been a while since we've done one of these. Um it's gotta be at least two months. So it's it's been a hell of a long time. But we're back with them. I've been combing through little things like uh, the comments from you guys, the STN Discord, my Discord, and found the most common questions that that people have asked. And from those common questions, I'm showing you an answer. I hope it's helpful. If anybody has anything that they're struggling with with Survive the Nights, drop it in the comments and let me know. And I will be all over that and I'll try and help you out. And if I get a lot of the same comment, then I'll get a video out for it as well. Because this game is pretty damn brutal, especially as a new player. Now, 1.8 um, has brought in a, f a few new players. I've seen a few people say that they've, uh, they've recently picked it up and it looks good. So, the plan today is very simple. I'm going to show you how you can get into the prison. Quite a few people have been asking me how you get the keycard. Now I'm going to show you where to get the keycard for the drawbridge control station, which is just there. And I'm also going to show you how to get the keycard for the prison armory, which is around about there, under the main cell block. It's pretty simple. Now, depending on the game mode you're playing on, we'll factor in quite a bit here. But before we move on, if you're a fan of Survival of the Nights and Survival Games, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we have plenty of them here. And I mean plenty of them. Oh yeah. Subscribe. Fondle that little button. Now then. Difficulty wise is going to change a lot. If you're hosting, that's going to change a lot too. Because the loot is affected by what difficulty you're playing on. So if you're playing on easy, you're going to come across a lot more loot. So you'll be able to find the key cards pretty damn easy. If you are playing on hardcore, you're going to want to search every possible nook and cranny because those key cards will not come about very easily. And also same as if you're hosting. If you're playing with max loot, then pretty damn simple. Your key cards will be everywhere. Everywhere. But if you are playing with pretty low loot, you're going to be looking for rocking horse shit. Let's be honest, it is hard. And I've tried it on hardcore. It can be very difficult, but I have found the top locations for said key cards. So all you got to do, sit back, relax, watch the video, drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and I'll show you how to get them. Once you've got these two bad boys, you'll be able to find yourself some awesome loot throughout the entire prison, especially at the end armory. Now, I'm going to show you how to grab them both. Uh, one of them is found outside the prison, which is the prison keycard. And then this one, the prison armory keycard, is found in multiple locations inside. Let's do it. So there's two locations you can go to get this first starter keycard. They're both police stations. One of them is up here at Union Point, marked by this P just here. And then the other one is at Addersfield just down in the sort of bottom right-ish corner. Now, inside the layouts is exactly the same, so I'm only going to show you one um, of the police stations. I'm going to be at the one at Union Point, which is a bigger city, so you may encounter more zombies around the area and on your way in. It does make it a little bit harder at night. Um, if you are a starter player, and to be fair, if you are going for the prison, you will probably be all right surviving in Union Point. Um, but if you want a bit of an easier one, go for Addersfield. It is a simpler place. It's quite small. It's just a little town, and there's a few little bits there. But, you know, you want the big hall, Union Point is the way to go. It is a bit more of a distance as way, as away from Bitterhold, but it's, it's a good place to be. I love my Superman stance. Now, what you're going to need to get into the police station and get this keycard is pretty simple. It's three things. Because it is a POI, it has a commercial generator inside, so you don't need to bring a Jenny. You can bring one with you if you want, but it's pretty pointless, and it's going to take up a lot of weight in your inventory. But what you do need are 10 circuit breakers, one extension cord, and a jerry can with some fuel. And weaponry is optional. I would highly recommend it. So, let's take these, we'll get inside, and we'll power it up. I'll show you exactly where you can go to get this keycard. And potentially get yourself some chicken too. Watch right it.
So it's pretty easy. It's not a hard location. Um, you can check in the offices downstairs. So all of this area here. But I don't really have much luck. And as I mentioned at the start of the video, it does depend on what difficulty setting you're playing on. If you are on hardcore, it's going to be a, a fair few runs um, before you actually get in and get what you want to get. But the best idea is once you're on, don't go straight into looting. Hold off a little bit. So play for around 20 minutes and then that will give the loot a bit of a chance to spawn in because it doesn't spawn in instantly. So as soon as you log on, there is a bit of a cooldown before it will show up. Uh, there are a lot of zombies, so if you are playing hardcore, it will be uh, it will be pretty damn hairy in here. So get that going. Power up all of this lot. Bish bash bosh. Move those over. And on. That is the first stage complete. This is where it gets a little bit difficult. If you haven't been in here before, then uh, you'll be in for a bit of a shock when you get in. And uh, it all starts kicking off, because it, it, it does. It all starts kicking off in here. This is where the fun stuff happens. Uh, keep your eyes out as you're running around, because you can have a chance to find it in the lower offices. Um, I've not had much luck. There's only one place that I've really had the most amount of luck trying to find the keycard. These guys quit. That was relatively easy. See, if you got the ARG, you're sweet. But unfortunately, with the extended mag and all of that funky stuff, the only way you are going to get that kind of loadout is if you've been in the prison. Um, so it, it's, it is worth doing. Because once you've got that extended mag, you can clean out the bigger POIs. Like, pfft, without any resistance really it, it does make it really easy well, let's move on in now this is the area that you want to be looking for these key cards all around here so if you head into these offices there is a chance, once again, but the best place to go is right the way down to the end. I'm going to run out of ammo. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to have to have a punching match with the zombie. This is good, this is good. I haven't had a punching match with a zombie for a long ass time. Ah. There we go. Now we're locked and loaded. So the place you want to be, just follow the corridor all the way down to the end. Pop this button here. And... Don't die like I'm about to. Come into this room here. And there we go. The prison keycard. That is where you will find it. It can be on any of these desks. And in the Addersfield Police Station, it is in exactly the same location. Once again, I'm just going to run all the way down to the bottom floor and show you a straight route to it, just so you know. It's pretty simple, but just to be close. Right, go, 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 go. I'm not going to run through the cell block again. But as you come through the cell block, this is the only way you can go unless you've, uh, you've already been through the entire police station. You come up these stairs, just follow it round nice and simply. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Just follow it. It's pretty much one path. But at this point, you can take the left there and go straight to the armory. Don't do that. Go straight, and this brings you into the actual office room. You do have a chance to find it in the conference room, but it's not very often. He got me. Bastard. Um, so yeah, just stick to the police station. That is going to be your best bet. That's the place you want to go where you're going to find it the easiest. Once again, if you're playing on hardcore, it might take you a couple of runs, but what you can do is go from one police station to the other and keep going and keep going. Makes things pretty damn simple, especially if you're playing in solo and you can teleport. Let's show you how to get the prison armory keycard. So you've got your keycard. 
once again you're going to need the same things that you needed for the key card but now you're going to need two sets so the jerry cans that we had earlier on the other bits that we had you're going to need them for this one it's pretty simple all you need is a little bit of fuel now the gate won't actually close with you inside so if you are low on fuel you don't need to put a lot in so if you're playing hardcore you can just pop one fuel in and as soon as you're inside that is it then your key card gets slot in the hole like that bish bash bosh press the green button down comes the bridge now inside is a bit of a clusterfuck so I'm going to show you the main areas that you can find the prison armory key cards. Um, we're not going to go into the main cell block because that is a bit too much. Now it's pretty easy, pretty simple. All you need to do is there's one way in and follow that route pretty much. So the way in is just down here. It did take me a while to figure this out. A little bit of jumping and hardcore parkour stylies. Bish bash bosh, you will come across a lot of zombies in these tunnels, so if you haven't got good guns, you might not last very long. So what you want to do, instead of going left, there's a little crossroads here, you can go left or straight ahead. Now, you want to go straight ahead for this first one. Through this door on the right hand side, some zombies in this room too, not too many. Occasionally four. Kill the dudes in there. Then just keep following the path through. Then you come across this back section here, which is like a little office area. Open this up. Now this has a chance to spawn one. I think I've seen one in here before, but um, this is not where I would normally go. So you can come in here, have a quick look once again. This is for playing hardcore. If you are playing with easy loot, um, there is one location you can go straight to and it will be there every single time without fail. So once you've done that, you come out. The doorway you came out of at first is there. Come into this one here and just follow the path round. When you're out in the open, the buildings are a little bit confusing, but once you've gone through a main door, Pretty much every building has a set route that you'll be following, so it's pretty simple. Once again, make sure you do have lots of ammo and a semi-decent weapon, because you won't last very long if you're going in here with a baseball bat. Now, as you come into this cafeteria area, you can also find it on some of the tables. There we go, there is one prison armory keycard. Bish bash bosh. So keep moving. And back outside we are here. So we have another little office block here. This is just got zombies on. Um, I have heard you can get it in here. But I've never actually seen it in here myself. So whether you want to check this location or not is up to you. It can be pretty time consuming. Because um, it is... Big old office with all the main desks hidden around corners. So, search at your own risk. There we go. Now, once you've done that, you need to go into the main armory, well, the main cell block, sorry. So, follow it up here. Ignore this building on the right. You don't need to go in that. Now, this is where our extension leads and jerry cans are going to come in handy because we're just going to head through this little door here. Open this door up and a bish bash bosh. Luckily, we've got one in there already. Nice. Fill this up. Start. And just follow it around. There's only one way you can go once you're up here. Up, around, and in. So just keep going, keep going, keep going. Once again, so many zombies, just keep your meds. Just keep shooting. Don't stop shooting. 
The ARG is the best with an extended mag if you can get hold of one. And in this little office, we have another key card here. Uh, we've also got a jam, which is never good. Always bring cleaning kits with you when you're at the prison. Because you will need to clean your weapons several times. But instead of cleaning kits, I would recommend just bring in a completely separate weapon. Because when you get into the main cell block, you won't really have time to clean your weapons. It is doable, but it's difficult. So when you're in this main area here, come up these stairs. And here is another office with the potential of a key card. It is normally on one of these desks. Now, once you've got that power on, you will have a whole bunch of zombies. It does vary. Sometimes you can have a couple. Sometimes you can have a lot. They'll come out of that cell there. But now where we need to go is that door there. Now, if you're playing in a group, this is pretty simple. What you need to do is have one of you stand here, push this buzzer, which will open that door. One of you will go through. There's another button inside to let the rest of the team through. But if you are playing solo, it's still doable. It is just a little bit harder. What you need to do is try and step as far away as possible from the button. And press it, turn around, and just sprint. Don't stop sprinting. Go straight ahead. If you haven't dealt with the zombies, you'll get caught up and more than likely won't make it. Just like that. But it is it is doable. I've done it several times. You've just got to keep, uh, keep going at it. You've got to pretty much find the right angle and... Once you've got that, you're fine. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Boom! And run. As soon as you make it through this door, though, there will be a host of zombies that come rushing at you. They should be coming... Okay, maybe not today. Now, as you come in here, there's a key card that spawns on this desk also. And there is the armory door. Press that button. There we go. Now, this is just a sort of mini armory. There's not really much in here. Sometimes you can get stuff, but most of the time, no. Now, follow the path round. You'll come across a room on the left. And as you come in here, you can also find an armory keycard on one of these desks. Once you are in the prison, you are pretty set. The armory keycards are really, really easy to find. But then just follow it round. You can't go wrong. It can only go one way really and then you press this button if you wanted to leave your mates in there and they can come through this way step or if you wanted to escape at this point that is your point of you've gone past the point of no return in just a second so that is your last way back out but if you're not going to take that you'll come into this room here and there is a big ass hole in the floor fall through the hole and here we have the armory Open this one up. Bish bash bosh. Here we have the main, well, the, the mini prison armory. Um, with loads of random little bits in today. There we go. Bish bash bosh. So that is how to get into the armory and the prison itself. Now once you've ventured into that little area, you will come up the stairs into here. There we go. And then when you're up here, this is where it gets very dicey. You will need to power up the main area, the same way that we powered up the rest of the buildings. And then, once you've powered those buildings up, these cell blocks will open one by one. Once you've defeated all of the zombies, this door here, exit, will open, leading to the main prison armory. Pretty simple, right? Oh yeah, pretty simple. And very, very fun. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you get into the armory. Pretty easy. That is how you get into the prison. Once again, it's pretty easy. you just got to follow the paths, head to the police station, get yourself a keycard, and bish bash bosh. So, that is it from me today with another STN Basics video. Once again, let me know in the comments if there's anything I can help you with. And if there's a big chunk, I will make a video on it to help more people out. 
today though that is it from me make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel for plenty more awesome survival stuff and also join the discord where you can have a say in what games we play on twitch on thursdays and tuesdays that is it from me today guys thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed peace